So I have before me two Legion 5 Pros. I have the 5i Pro and I have the 5 Pro. They both come with the RTX 3060 and 16 gigs of RAM. The Ryzen version is the Ryzen 7 6800H and the Intel version is the i7 12700H. Now, which one should you purchase? And that's what we're gonna get into right now. We're gonna look at the benchmarks and that really, to me, is gonna be the deciding factor along with you guessed it, battery life. Who has better battery life, Intel or Ryzen? And we're gonna find out. But before we do, we're gonna be giving away three Legion 5 Pros once we pass 100,000 subscribers. So Lenovo sent over three Legion 5 Pros to give away once we pass 100,000 subscribers. So make sure you subscribe, like this video, share it out so we get there faster and we can kick off the giveaway. All right, for now, let's jump into the benchmark so you can decide which one is right for you. Looking at Geekbench single core and multi-core, you can see that the Legion 5i Pro is going to slightly outperform the 5 Pro with the Ryzen processor. As we move on to Cinebench, R20, same thing. We're seeing better R20 scores out of the Intel version than we are the Ryzen. As we move into R23, again, Intel is above Ryzen on this test. And then finally, in the multi-core for R23, Intel is on top. So, so far, according to the simulated benchmarks, you should choose Intel if you're concerned about performance. Now, moving on to the Photoshop benchmark, once again, we see a 970 out of the Intel version versus an 881 out of the Ryzen version. Going into After Effects, once again, Intel takes the crown by exactly 50 points on this benchmark. Now, moving on to Blender, that's one place that the Ryzen processor outpaces Intel by about 60 points. So, nothing huge, really, because they have the RTX 3060s in both laptops, you're not gonna see a big difference. Where you'll see a big difference is if you get a stronger GPU, like the RTX 3070 or 3070 Ti, that's where you'd get a boost in performance with Blender. Now, before we check out the 4K export thermal results, if you're curious about the exact pricing of the 5i or the 5i Pro, you can head down in the description below and click those links. If you do make a purchase, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But of course, that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. Now, really, it might be a determining factor which one has cooler thermals. And honestly, right off the bat, Intel one, I know, Ryzen fans, sorry to say, but as you can see, the Ryzen processor gets a few more degrees Celsius on the 4K thermal export time. But on Intel, the highest CPU temperature we see is actually on balance mode. It's 76 degrees Celsius at a 45 decibel fan noise. Now, if we kick it up to performance mode, we'll have slightly more decibels of fan noise at 50 decibels. We'll actually get a 70 two degrees Celsius on the CPU. Now, as you can see, the Intel also gets a better export time by about 20 or so seconds. So as far as cool, better performing and quiet, well, not really quiet, it's about the same as far as decibels is concerned, but the cooler laptop is going to be the Intel laptop. Now let's check out battery life. For battery life, if you want better battery life, I would choose Ryzen. You're gonna get about an hour better of battery life out of the Ryzen version than you will the Intel. Now these tests were run at 25% screen brightness, 60 Hertz on the panel with iGPU mode on and on quiet mode with the keyboard backlighting off. So that's how I got these results in case you're wondering, in case you're trying to get better results for your Legion 5 or 5i Pro, that's how I got the results for these two laptops. Now moving on to 3D modeling, we're gonna start in Autodesk 3DS Max and Autodesk Maya. And you can see that the Intel version outpaces the Ryzen version on both of those tests. As we move on to PTC Creo, we slightly edge out the Ryzen version with the Intel version by about five points. And then in SolidWorks, you can see once again, by about two points, the Intel version takes over. So really punch for punch, Honestly, Intel or Ryzen would work well with 3D modeling. If you want to get an upgrade, I would consider getting you know the more uh, powerful GPU. Consider eight gigs of VRAM in the GPU with the RTX 3070 or 3070 Ti versus the six gigs of VRAM in the RTX 3060 that we have before us. Now, moving on to playback, this is an area that we saw slightly better playback out of the Legion 5 Pro by only about 60 dropped frames though for B-RAW. So they both have in the 300s for drop frames for B-RAW and then in the 3000s for red footage. So 4K, no drop frames, really good there. 6K had some drop frames in B-RAW and 6K red footage had substantially more drop frames. But compared to last year, these laptops have substantially improved. We saw a lot of laptops with 6,000 to 10,000 drop frames last year. So we're seeing much better processing of red footage in Premiere Pro this year's laptops. Now moving on to the 4K export time, as you saw earlier with the thermal results, we're gonna have a better export time out of the Intel model by about 30 seconds. So if you're looking for get that slight edge on your export times, I would go for the Intel version. 
version. Now, where I think it makes even bigger difference is going to be with the 6K B-RAW export. You got about a 14 minute and 43 second export compared to a 17 minute and 21 second export. So you're gonna save almost three minutes by going with the Intel version. Now, looking at DaVinci Resolve, it wasn't a huge difference, about a minute difference between the two with the Intel version on top. Now, punch for punch, which model would I buy? Personally, because I don't need a ton of battery life and it only gets me an extra hour for Ryzen, I would probably go Intel for the cooler temperatures and slightly increased performance for video editing. I do a lot of video editing, I do a lot of Photoshop work, so the more performance out of the Intel with the cooler temperatures and slightly quieter would be an advantage to me personally. However, if you're looking for a little more battery life, you do like AMD Ryzen and you see an advantage of that, then this model with the Legion 5 Pro could be advantageous to you. But really, they're both great picks. They both have dual channel upgrade for the RAM. They both have two M.2 slots. And so it really is a great choice either way. Don't forget to subscribe so we can reach 100,000 subscribers and kick off that giveaway. I'm super excited in the future to give away some Legion 5 Pros. Likes of this video has brought you some value. And if you're curious about making a purchase now, there's, of course, links in the description below. I'll see you guys here in the next video.